Well, I'm back with another video. Jeff and Sassy here. We're gonna cook some more dinner. Sassy, what do you want tonight, huh? How about we have some steak and eggs? A little bit different. Actually, I bought this at Walmart. It's actually stew meat, but it was cheap. I have that. Mix some eggs in with it, scramble the eggs. Chop up some onions, and of course, got to fry it. those onions and the steak and Kerrygold butter. If you've never had Kerrygold, you need to try it. Of course, if you got a big family at home, which I don't have a big family at home anymore, we have a big family, but they're all they're all grown now. Uh, but that stuff is like three dollars for two sticks or four dollars, so. Just being myself on the truck, I figure I can afford it. But anyways, let me get started here. All right, well, I'm going to start by cutting up some onion. Anybody that knows me, I'm not a real big onion eater, especially raw onions. But if I can saute them or put them in for something to make some, just to create some flavor, I do like that. The flavor that they'll add, especially I really like onion rings, and but just plain raw onions, yeah, no thank you. So got my handy buck knife. I think I just cleaned a fish with it before I did this. Just kidding. I clean it off. Okay, that should be about enough for me. My skillet hot, it should be getting hot. Make some of the butter, and I've already put a little bit in, put a little bit more into the frying pan. I hate this camera, camera angle, but I don't, I just don't know how to adjust it yet to get it going right. So Here a little bit background noise. I've got my inverter running. I've got to have it on to to run my frying pan. So get those in the frying pan. Got my steak. Steak or stew meat, whatever you want to call it. It's a little tough, but you know what? It's good. Let's see if I can turn this. Let's see. There's sassies over here watching me with this meat. Give me some, Dad. Give me some. Give me some, driver. Okay, I got it in the skillet. Start frying it up here. And the most important thing you got to have, anyways, for me, if you just heard that, which result would you like? Garmin heard me say something and thought I went, is let's see if I can get this focused. Johnny seasoning salt. I've been eating, using this since since the 90s. And yes, I like my meat salty. Yeah, Cooked up real nice. Okay. Now 
Okay, and this is what I've never done this before, but I don't know why it wouldn't work. And drop the fork in there. That's okay, it will sanitize it. <laughs> on this for a minute and real quick um, I drive a 2020 Volvo uh, what is it UNL V or what I, I think I said that wrong but it's an 8 860 and here's my refrigerator show you inside real quick but you know for being in a truck it's not a bad size it's got a nice size freezer in it that I can keep my meat. Right down here are some chicken drumsticks that I cooked up the other day. I had some of those for lunch yesterday. But anyways, let's just show you the refrigerator real quick. What I've got to work with, it's about twice the size of the one that I had in the Kenworth that I used to drive. So I think these are just about done. Let me try a bite of this, just out of the pan, see how it tastes. Mm. That is good. What do you want, some sassy? But anyways, I just, I'm in Texas, and I'm in an all-sups, and I just bought some of their green chili salsa. So I'm going to add to my eggs after I put it on the plate. Should turn out pretty good. Thanks for watching.